If you're already using Snowflake, then you know how powerful the cloud can be when you want to store a large volume of data and serve it to a large volume of users. But what if you want to interact with your data and create visualizations such as you see here? Snowflake's partner, Sigma Computing, can help you to do exactly that. Using Sigma, you can interact with your data, create new columns and calculations, create interactive visualizations, and share that data and visualizations with other people on your team. To get started with Sigma, you can use Snowflake's Partner Connect feature, which is what I'm going to show you today. To create your Sigma account, simply log into Snowflake with an account that has account admin access. If account admin is not the default role for your user, make sure to switch the role to account admin before you get started. Then navigate to Partner Connect and click Sigma. You'll notice that when you connect to Sigma through Partner Connect, it'll use your first name, last name, and email address to create your Sigma account. It'll also create a database, a warehouse, a system user, a system password, and a system role in Snowflake for Sigma. Let's get started. As I stated before, you'll need your first and last name to create a Sigma account. Then click Connect. After you click Connect, Sigma will create an account for you. And all you have to do is click Activate to go to the Sigma website to finish the activation process. When you arrive at the Sigma website, you'll need to create a password for yourself. Once you've created your account, you're ready to get going. You'll notice that Sigma has a very intuitive web interface, and it's easy to get started by creating a new worksheet. There are many different ways of interacting with data in Sigma, but I prefer to start with table, which is relatively simple and doesn't require any knowledge of SQL. You'll notice that under Connections, Sigma has already created a sample database and the Snowflake PC Sigma role that I can use to connect to data. I can also add a new Snowflake connection through the Add Connection dialog box. Within this dialog, it's relatively simple to get started. You'll need a name for your connection, the server, which is the name of your Snowflake account, followed by snowflakecomputing.com, the virtual warehouse that you'd like to use to connect to the data, along with the Snowflake username, password, and role, that you'd like to use with the connection. In this case, I'm simply going to use the Sigma sample database. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin price data. When I connect to data, Sigma will show me a preview of the data before we get started. Although Sigma has many fascinating features, one of the most interesting is the ability to add columns and interact with data as if it were a spreadsheet. For instance, what if I wanted to create a column that showed me the delta between the low and high price in any given day? Well, I can simply type in the different columns along with an expression, high minus low, and sigma will compute the value for me within that column. Now, for any given day within this Bitcoin price data set, I've computed the high minus the low to find the delta, or spread, between them. Once you've got your data where you want it, it's easy to create a visualization. Let's create a line chart. Simply drag and drop the columns that you'd like to interact with onto the axes that correspond to the chart that you'd like to see. When you're finished, you can publish the visualization and share it with other people in your organization. As you can see, in less than three minutes, you can create a Sigma account, connect to your Snowflake data, create an interactive visualization, share it with other people in your organization, and do all of it without any knowledge of SQL. That's the power of a modern cloud analytics stack.